hello my lovelies how are we all today we're going to be playing with new things today so we have the new mini catalog out now and celebration obviously we don't normally have two celebrations but we do this year so in the new mini catalog we have two new sets Sparkle of the Season and Peaceful Deer and we will be using Seasonal Swirl Dyes and the Deer Punch. Hi Kathy. Okay, I'm for some reason I'm buffering a bit. Hmm. I'm freezing. Hi Louise, <laughs> you stick to your class lovely, you'll be able to watch it after. Hi Margaret, um, I'm just going to check what people are doing in my house. Give me a second. it's fine hi mum hi abby happy birthday mum for about the six millionth time today <laughs> okay so as i said we're going to be using sparkle of the season and peaceful deer sorry for that i had to run and check who if anyone was downloading something because my video wasn't working very well but it's okay again now so i have cut out a few little things i haven't practiced this card so you know um, the first card I'm going to use both these sets and then after that I want to have a little play with this one because there, there's Christmas, autumn and um, like a Thanksgiving and also um, Halloween so I'll have a little play with that one after but I really love this one but I have made a video of a bit of a scene building one with this one as well so that will be coming out onto YouTube shortly it might even be for the for next Saturday as we're away on holiday. I won't be able to do a video live. So I will be um, scheduling a post on YouTube. But I will put the link onto Facebook so you can get there. Um, hi everyone. Hi Diane. Okay. Right, let's get on. Dawdling now. Okay, so for, from the seasonal swirls dies i have cut out the christmas like pine and holly leaves i have also cut out some little teeny weeny red berries and some holly but in two different two different colors so here's my my gorgeous little dish and i have some some green leaves and I have some gold and I have lots of red berries ready so I'm using tidings of Christmas paper and a piece of cherry cobbler and I did cut the little berries out of cherry cobbler cardstock as well and some gold foil I'm a bit short on my greens so this one is is it old old olive I think I think it's old olive um, and then a piece out of the gold so I can layer them up a little bit just to give us a bit of bling so I'm gonna stick them so they don't match the same so what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be my deer so I'm gonna punch out a deer and I'm not worried about antlers because I don't need antlers um, and because it's DSP and it's a little bit thinner than it's a little bit thinner than the cardstock I'm gonna cut one out of cardstock as well 
and then I'm going to glue them together and it'll make a really strong, a really strong, oh, I've got two sets of antlers spare now. <laughs> yeah, it'll just make it stronger to stand so it doesn't get squashed. So I will just layer those up, glue them together and it'll make him a nice solid deer. And then with this piece, I am going to cut, I should have done this before, but we had a visitor for tea, so I was a bit late coming upstairs. No excuse, I know, I know, I hear you. <laughs> but you know, visitors are important now, we're allowed them. Okay. So, matting layer is going to be this one. So I'm going to glue that on. I mean, how stunning is that in... Can you see the print on that? Isn't that pretty? That is really pretty. But I'm gluing it the other way. Because I'm a rebel like that. Okay. Here we go. Right, then I am going to put the gold underneath so it's not too in your face. Oh nope, that's too matchy matchy there because you won't really see it otherwise. So I'm just going to literally turn it so it's the opposite way round. Nope, not going to do that either. I'm going to, where it's quite sparse here, I'm going to stick a bit of foliage like that. And then you can, you could, can, you could <laughs> sort of layer them up a little bit. So pull some pieces from the gold into your green wreath so they sort of you got some nice holly leaves sticking through and up and bits like that so i'm going to pop a bit of some dabs of glue around here sort of getting the green as i go around as well to try and glue them together i think i like it that way <laughs> okay let's put that on there so the green is not stuck at all <laughs> okay hang on two seconds I'm just going to stick that down there and now I've got glue on my fingers. It's just going to be stuck to everything now. There we go. So you can, you can, see I use the word titivate, but yeah. So there you go. So you put that onto there. Just going to quickly glue my reindeer together. I think I need to unclog my glue. I think I left it open for too long little tiny dots should have put my silicon mat under it and again I haven't <laughs> then I'm just going to no I'm not yes I am doing that yes I am yes I am had a bit of a panic then did you see I was like oh I stuck it in the wrong place no I haven't there we go oh gives him a little bit of a dimension there so he is going to he's going to stand there like that. Oh, I need to get the glue off my fingers now. Right, so in the stamp set, let's have a look what it says in this one. Uh, wishing you a wonderful year of and friendships, dear. It's the best time of the year. Let's celebrate. Or do we use 
a traditional Merry Christmas. <laughs> I think we're going to go with that. So let me see if I've got a piece of scrap, the right sort of size where it will fit. Right, so it will fit on there and I'm going to stamp it in Evening Evergreen and then I'm going to make it a matting layer. Okay. Hi, Delinda. Oh, I know. I missed Janice earlier. Um, I've been busy trying to get all the washing done ready to pack. So I've got most of the piles ready to pack up now, ready for holiday. So excited. So, so excited. Right. So... What have I done with my scissors? Oh, hold on, two ticks. Let me just <sighs> grab my scissors from way over yonder. Oh, there we go. So I was doing some cutting out earlier for a different video. Okay, so I'm going to measure that. And it measures, so it's one centimetre wide by eight long. So I need a one and a half, one and a half by, oh, I wonder if this would work actually. So one and a half, let's just trim that off there. One and a half by eight and a half. Ooh, piece of scrappy paper. Oh, there we go. So that's cute. That is cute. I like that. I don't normally do pattern on pattern, but. Oh, Kathy, isn't it lovely? I mean, we haven't been on holiday since uh, the September before lo the original lockdown in March of 2020. So, yeah, we've not been on holiday for quite some time. We've been away for a weekend at um, a young carers camp. Um the big weekend they called it it was a bit awesome um but other than that we haven't been very far at all and with me shielding we definitely didn't go very far where have my dimensionals gone i can only find baby ones hold on hold on do we have any more nope that's more baby ones Very strange. I know they're here somewhere. And I know I haven't run out of them as well. So anyway, we're going to use the the outer edge. Which I've been using quite a lot of recently. You just trim them up. And then they just use them. No waste. No waste. Right, so this is going to go on. And then we're going to get to our little hollies and berries to go on to. Uh, and I might need to cut a few more um, leaves. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, look at that. Is it straight? Yes! <gasps> Please be proud. I'm sorry if you can hear loud noise. I've got my window open because it is still hot. But somebody is just men shouting outside and being silly by the sound of it okay so let's bring in our little so I think what we'll do is get the pick tool make sure the end is ready and we will Let's 
See, I was thinking of doing, of putting like two berry, two leaves up there, and then putting three berries near it. Yeah, I think that'll work. So I'm going to do that with the with the four gold ones. Should I go there and there, or there and there, or even down there? What do we think? Down here, guys. Bottom of the card or middle of the card? Oh, we're going to the beach, Delinda. It's not far from here. Um, yeah, it's not far from here. A friend of mine has got a caravan and she's very kindly said we can, we can use it um, and within our budget as well. So we're very excited. And Alira is excited because she thinks, I think she thinks we're going to be staying on the beach. <laughs> right, I wonder if that, see I've got glue stuck on my finger. So things are sticking to me. There we go. Whether that would look alright there with berries above it. Do you think the bottom, do you Diane? Oh, Kathy says middle, bottom, bottom, bottom. Okay, I'm sorry, bottom wins. Okay, if I can just <laughs> stop my hands from being so sticky. Right, I'm assuming that the longer end is the end of the holly. Supposedly, she says, as she's just fighting with the holly like this. I'm just going to use the pokey tooly bit like this and I'll put some berries with it and it will look very cute okay let's get some glue on these bad boys I am going to use my reverse tweezers and then I don't have to touch the darn things okay bit of liquid glue and we're going to stick that one like that and then like this. Now these ones are going to be a bit more tricky. I think I'm going to have to use the pick tool. And I'll put the blobs on the paper. where I want my berries one on this little dish is my nan's I need to clean it because it's had um, alcohol and ink in it so I need to clean it and actually alcohol is the best thing to clean it with it's awesome it works very well Right, that's that. And these pesky ones down here. Let's put some glue on them. Oh, too much glue. Way too much glue. I know, they're so tiny weeny, but they're just, they're so cute. Right, which way round that way? Actually, I, do you know what? I don't think it matters with this holly which way round you put it. So, we're just going to go with the flow, innit? There we go. Right, so we're going to put our three blobs on again. Are we in camera? Yes. Are we zoom? Do you want to zoom in, loves? Does you want to zoom in a bit? There we go. Put in three little tiny blobs of glue. I'm grabbing some, and they're actually they're slightly shaped as well. Um, they're, they're domed. So some of them are a nightmare because they're upside down. Oh, there we go. It's, it's not It's not hard, Wendy. Just turn them over. It's not a problem. Oh, dear me. Right. There we go. Right, now we've got our little bunches of berries. Like so. Oh, they're so cute. So with these ones then, what I am going, if I can actually pick it up properly... I'm thinking of putting I might have to cut some more gold ones and we'll put some more gold 
around here so I'm going to put that one put those two there with the berries underneath it yeah I'm just going to glue them straight on because they just keep sticking to my fingers come here try and use my left hand it's not working little bit of glue little bit of glue on there okay right this one just on there maybe I should um, do a little blending on that when it's dry I might do a little tiny bit of blending just to give the leaves a bit more definition so I'm going to put this one here Well, it's a good job I put that there because that berry, there must have been a bit of glue there. So that berry is actually stuck there. Okay. Like so. And then we're going to make our little blobs. No, stay there. See, he's trying to escape again. Right. Berry. It's like doing surgery, this is. No, it's not. I couldn't be a surgeon. Too much brain fog for that. I'd forget what I was doing. Poor patients. Right. Let's do three blobs up here. Right, so I'm going to have to do an odd number of um, gold ones because it just, it just can't be even because that would just be horrendous. No, it wouldn't really. It would probably be perfectly totally fine. But I like things to be... A certain way and that is one of the things where things have to have a bit of an odd number now I don't know if any of you think my deer looks a bit scary because he hasn't got he hasn't got an eye but I think he looks quite cute like that right anyway I'm blabbering now okay so we're just gonna quickly talk amongst yourselves while I just cut a few more and they're, they're together but they cut two separate holly leaves let's move those out of my way so that I can get to my big shot okay right how many times can you say right okay in one video I wonder Okay, that's two, and then I just need, did they come off? Yes, they did. One, two. See, I love this. the pick tool, honestly, everyone should have one because they're so handy for lots of things. Okay, let's cut once more. No, don't move. There. Stay there now. It's because I'm trying not to waste my foil. So I'm using little tiny pieces of scrap. So that I can get the most. See? I use all those. I don't know why my daughter is trying to video call me obviously forgotten mum if you could possibly message tiff and tell her i'm live and i can't talk to her right now that would be awesome right i've got what have i got one two three four so one's just going to have two berries now that's just going to be a spot the difference when someone gets the card isn't it <laughs> spot the difference right 
Who else likes Spot the Difference? I love Spot the Difference. I'm a very observant kind of person, so I like to try and figure it all out. Okay. Maybe we'll have one... Oops. Maybe we should mix it up a bit, actually. So the glue on my fingers is stronger than the pictor the tweezers. <laughs> Strong glue, you know. Right, so I'm going to put this one here. And then... I've done that wrong, haven't I? It's got to go that way. It's got to all go the right way, Wendy. So this one will go here. Because um, I've just realised that I need more berries. Or do I? Mm, I don't know. We'll decide in a minute, guys. I promise. So I'm just going to add a couple of holly leaves without berries. And then... Right, so this one's going to have berries. So it's going to be that one and this one. Sorry. My daughter messaging me. Oh, it's bedtime. No, love. I'm live. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Um, it's all right, ma'am. She, uh, ma'am, mum. <laughs> I think we're sorted. But if you've already done it, that's perfectly fine too. I'm sure she'd like to hear from you. If she hasn't wished you happy birthday already. But then they've been out all day with their dad. So, yeah. Right, come on berries, turn over. Oh, no, you have to stay there. You're not allowed to come away. Sorry. There we go. And... Okay, we need more berries and more... Sure had an an off cut. That's not the right colour. You know when you're like, oh yeah, I got plenty of that. Yeah, no, you haven't. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find something. I promise. There we go. I've got it. I'm just gonna cut some more berries, and I'm gonna get my other piece of gold. So I am just going to trim off Right, I'm just going to trim off the, a little slither because the berries are in a nice short thin strip so you don't need you can literally use off cuts for that And I think the last piece I used was like half a centimetre wide. Okay, so put the gold in. Maybe I should have trial run this card because it's taken a lot more... <laughs> a lot more berries and a lot more gold leaves than I thought it was going to. Right, so do that my little dish because I take the berries off straight into the dish so I can't lose them there we go right we'll have one more row of berries Ooh. right 
So, there's me holly leaves. Right, I will be back with you in just a moment. Let's just do things. berries into the dish, put the dyes back in there so I don't lose them and you end up with a little piece of paper like this <laughs> with lots of holes. Okay, right, I think, I think we're ready now. All right then. So this card may take a little while to make, but I'm telling you, it's it's definitely worth it. So we're going to go with two more. Bunches. See, I put that one on the wrong way round, didn't I? You didn't tell me. There we go. Oh, I actually think after this one that's enough. Okay. We're rolling. Rolling, rolling. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Right. Blobs. Okay. Get some berries. So one, two, three. I, th I think that's going to stay there. I think at least, yes, he's staying there, guys. And then we got one, too much glue. So it'll dry. When it dries, it'll be fine. It'll all be good. It'll all be good. So how's that? Oh, it is just too cute. I'm thinking. Nope, don't like it. There we go. But there we go. I quite like that. Do you think I should put two more there? Hmm. I could just put some random berries on. No, that looks silly too. What about some gems? Could use these as berries if you were feeling generous. So, I'm not even going to use those. I'm going to use some pretty some pretty ones. Where's me? Oh, these ones are so nice. It comes with some gold um, pieces already cut out. I can't remember what they call them. Like embellishments. And you get a little pack of these with it as well. And I think it's, they're just so pretty that you have to use way too many on a card because you just can't help yourself. There we go. Bit of sparkle as well now. Ta-da. Oh, let's zoom back out again. There we go. Card number one. Now that's the one that I designed in my head, guys. Okay, but for the inside, I would, where's a piece, is that not, is that, oh, it's not white even. Um, I 
I am just going to grab some white. Basic white. Oh, there he is. Grab a piece of basic white. Hi, Janice. I've got a thing about wreaths, so I'm really loving this one. Really loving, loving, loving this one. Right, hang on. Just put the lid on the glue for a minute. Right, so I need a piece to go inside my card. And I like to make them match. Not that way, Wendy, so that you're not wasting. So, 10 by 14. And then going to because we've got Merry Christmas on the front just move me gems because they're like everywhere because I like to share with the desk because the desk loves it so I'm going to take a piece of that which we've used on the front and I'll put that down the side and then I'll probably put these two and maybe a couple of berries because it, it's not going to add any sort of thickness I don't think so, yeah, I put the, did you notice that? I put the trimmer away and I didn't need to. I need it, I need it. So I'm going to do it one and a half centimetres wide. Oh, can't get it back out. And then it needs to be 14. So it's the same size as the card. And then sending love and peace this season. There it is. So I shall stamp this in cherry cobbler. No, even in evergreen change my mind like the wind right even an evergreen stamp it up lovely 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 take that off out of the way so I can get it centered say a little prayer <laughs> um, oh 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 I thought I'd smudge then <gasps> it's okay it's just dust Right, then I'm going to put this down the side. Don't worry about my cherry cobbler. I'm going to use it in a second. Well, I think I am. So I'm just going to pop this at the very edge. Ooh. Like so. And then... I'm going to because my deer on the front is red. Let's clean this off. Where's me? Where's my chamois? There's my chamois. Let's put that there. And then oh he doesn't fit on there this one here but I'm gonna stamp it off somewhere oh let's be scrap scrap paper so I've stamped it off three times I'm cleaning them straight away because I used a red but they do stain it doesn't affect the way the stamp works but it does they do stain okay so there we go and then we shall glue that in to our card Okay. Go 
concentrating, going quiet. Pretty sure I said the other day I needed to change the blade on my trimmer and I haven't done it. So I need to do that this... No, I don't do it this week because I'm going on holiday. <laughs> right, card number one is done. So then I thought what we'd do is I'm going to put this one away. Right, I've cleaned that. So I'm going to put this away. So Mr. Deer can go up there. Careful. So with these now, I'm going to move them out of the way. Empty that. Oh, get the berries out. So with this one, I think I might just cut out a load of things at the same time. Um, and then we've also got some different bits and pieces here. But I'm going to concentrate on the dies today. Um, and then I will do... I did do a card with these as a border, which was very pretty. Um, we might use some of these, maybe. And obviously the sentiments. So let's start with... Halloween. So I think I'll find a nice yellow for that and we'll make a black card. Where's the black card stock? Piece of black card stock because obviously Halloween is usually black. <laughs> um, and then maybe we'll have, so you normally have black bats. Okay, well, uh, we'll we'll come across we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So I don't know why I've put that leaf in there because it doesn't fit. Let's move it. There we go. Right, so we want a pumpkin and a broomstick and a bat. Put that out of the way. So I'm going to get my little scrap. My scrap paper. So all I do with my scrap paper is I have a plastic wallet, orange and yellow. There is a few pieces that aren't stamping up because I don't believe in throwing things away. So maybe we'll have an orange card. That would be cool. Yes. Let's see what yellows we've got. See, that would stand out. So we could still do our... Yes. Yes, guys, yes. Say it with me. Yeah. Right. So I want orange, but I don't need a massive piece of orange for my pumpkin. Oh, that's too thin. That's not a stamping up. Let's have a look. What's this one? That one feels like a stamping up one. That looks like pumpkin pie. Crush curry, pumpkin pie. That's not stamping up. That is, but I have no idea what it is. But there we are, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to get a piece of scrap black. It's not even black, is it? Let's have a look. Um... What's that piece? That might be big enough because this is very thick, so it's not damping up. Okay, so because I've got smaller pieces, I can try and fit them on. I cut them out in one go, save keeping you all around forever and a day. Oh, nearly dropped the plates on the floor then right so that can go there that can go there that can go there oh what color broomstick shall we have black bat orange pumpkin
yellow wreath with stars and a piece of early espresso so sometimes if you don't have very much room just cut a little piece of paper the right size and then There we go. Right. And then you can just oh, do that. <laughs> oh, my broomstick moved. Oh. Honestly. So we have a little bat and a pumpkin and we have half a broom because the naughty paper moved so we're just going to do that again but I only want one broomstick so but I want a couple of pumpkins and a few bats so we were going to put them back in anyway so we're going to do another bat and another pumpkin I don't think we need more than one wreath of that one so that can move out of the way right this time we're going to concentrate and we're not going to move the broomstick right there we go I can see it's right this time it's just last time, but the time I realised it was too late to move it because it had already started cutting everything else. It's squeaky. It's a very squeaky machine. Right. Pumpkin. Broomstick. And another bat. Right, we'll just have one more bat. Oh, looking for the die everywhere then. It was still attached to the, the plate I lifted up. Right, this will take two seconds because it's just a bat on it's on the very end of my... <laughs> there we go. Third bat, because, you know, three and all that. Right, one, two, three bats. Pumpkin... Oh, I like this circle. This would come in. Do you know what? This would be nice for a children's birthday card with um, their name or a number in the middle. With maybe some fun animals around it or something. Right, let's put these back in here before I lose them. Right, take the broomstick out. Oh, I like the detail on the broomstick. Can you see the lines? I was going to shade that, but actually I quite like that as it is. Marvellous. Marvellous, guys. Marvellous. Right. Move that out of my way again. Let's get rid of all these little bits of paper. Okay. Maybe I've got a plan. Got a plan. It's coming together. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I am going to cut a piece of black card base. Hi Peg! Right, so I do mine at ten and a half. Don't cut it. Score at ten and a half. Cut at fourteen and a half centimetres save that other one for later and then I'm going to cut this one oh, excuse the motorbike at 14 by 10 
don't know if this is going to work or whether I need a darker. So we we'll put that on there like that. Hmm. Um, 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 um. Trying to think if there's an animal I can turn into like spookiness. <laughs> but we can put that on there. Then we can. What's that one? Happy Halloween. We have lots of bats. So we can stamp some bats on. We do have some stars as well. I wonder if we can do something with them. So we'll get the stars out. Right. Maybe we'll create a background. So I'm going to get um, pumpkin pie. And I'm going to get my Memento Black and a piece of scrap paper. Sorry, you don't want to see my list on top of that. It's not bad, it's just boring, if you know, if I'm honest. Right, so we'll start off with some bats. No, we're going to blend the edges first because I think this will look pretty cool. Right, let me get some orange. Yeah, I think you've got to, yeah, got to mood it up a bit. <laughs> right. So I'm just going to go around the edge to start with and then we'll go from there guys. And then I might cut another stars but in black maybe. Oh, that's better, look. So it gives it a bit more. Right. And while we're at it, we're just going to attack the pumpkins a bit. Okay. So... Hmm. I'm wondering if it needs like a black circle behind it. Maybe. Right. I don't have stitched circles yet. So I am using a naughty one so that I can get black circle Just do two ticks um, there we go Okay, so let's take that off a minute. Let's get our memento out. I'm not entirely sure this is going to work, if I'm honest, but we're going to give it a go, guys. We're going to just go for it because it's just fun. You just need to just get your stamps out and just 
stamp your heart out. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use... I'm thinking, I wonder if pumpkin pie would show up quite nicely as like a bit of a background. So it's, it's quite a fun kids card, maybe. See how it comes out in a minute. There we go over here a bit don't forget your edges and your corners okay chamois clean them clean the bats at the same time so that's that then we're going to put our black circle back on with our swirly stars See, I wonder if we should put uh, Happy Halloween across the circle or should we put our pumpkins in here with the broom just leaning up at the side. Oh, I quite like that. Do we like that, guys? What do you think? Let me have a look on my screen because I can tell better by looking at the screen what it's going to look like. I wonder if it needs something here. What about... What have we got? What have we got? Have we got anything that could be stamped there? No. Unless... I think it just looks fab like that, I wonder. Okay, we're going to go with that. And then I'm going to use... That's not the same colour, is it? There it is. I'm going to... Cut a piece. Um, how wide is that? Let's have a look. One and a half. Half. No, one centimetre because then I'll give it a, a black border. So we're going to go with that. I think this is um, Daffodil Delight, this paper. Okay, so Happy Halloween. It's going to fit on there, like so. And then we're going to mat it. So I need a piece of black. So I need to find a straight edge. And I don't think we have one. <laughs> so that was a centimetre. So we're going to go with one and a half centimetres. That does, doesn't look right. There we go. Is that long enough? Ooh might just be I think I need to clean the if you find that your um, cutter's not cutting properly just use a piece of scrap paper and just run it down the channel of your cut of your trimmer and I think you'll find that might help okay So we're going to do that in black because obviously it's Halloween. Why wouldn't you? So let's just get them. Let's tidy that up in a minute. We've got Merry Christmas still out over there. So Memento, where have you gone? Why have you run away? You still need it. Okay. Let's get our little... Right. Let's get it straight. If it's not straight, you've always got the other side. It's perfectly fine. Oh, that's all right. Look. 
except for those if you do have lots of little bits left just gently go along the edge with your scissors and just cut all them little little terrible things off where's my lid oh there it is right so that's going to go on there like that still got some tatty bits and on there i don't know why right let's glue this on I think we're only going to get two cards done tonight but you get what you get the idea um i'll probably do a whole video on um autumn anyway and we don't celebrate thanksgiving here but it's it's quite nice just to send out a a thankful card to anybody really oh that's not look <laughs> it's just joining the, the spooky thing it's not quite straight but it's fine that's going to go there and then what i'm going to do with my bats is I'm gonna glue look you can even see their little ears is it is it focusing can you see their little ears they're so cute well if you can call bats cute I'm gonna do what I do with the butterflies and I'm gonna just shape oh no he dropped him I'm gonna shape his wings a bit and I'm just gonna glue his body and stick him on Maybe we should stick this down as well, because that might help. Might be a good idea. You never know. So I'm going to glue that on. Somewhere there. That looks like the middle. Then I am just going to... Just, just a little bit, like, you know, just soften it a little bit. Just a little bit and then i'm gonna glue this i'm gonna put some dots on but not too much because it doesn't have a very wide area to cover and then i just like to get another a big enough block oh where's my other one? Oh, i don't know we're just gonna push it down i would sometimes i'll just put a block on top of it to help it dry because the block just comes back off so dimensionals where have you gone there you are we just need three of these little edge pieces which would be just three of the bigger dimensionals that we sell oh thank you cindy thanks mum okay so this is going to go here So basically, when you're making a card, you can use like um, one of the simple layouts, which is focal point here, sentiment here. And it works for quite a lot of cards. Oh, that's just like way too much glue. <laughs> Over squeezing. Although I could probably use it to glue up my broom so swap fingers let's put that one there like that told you it was too much glue there we go stay boys stay and then my broom stick let me put it in front now if I had my wink of Stella because guys I still haven't found it I would um, wink a cell of my stars but I haven't got it but I do have another plan that might work but then it actually might use a lot of my although I don't have to put one on it oh see I'm talking to myself now sorry talk amongst yourselves while I sort my brain out so I'm going to put one uh just here and then the last one so i'm just holding the body 
not pulling too hard but just curling the wing like that can you see how it's just curled around a little bit so I'm doing that on both sides bit of glue on his body and then pop him on there we go right so if I had Winkostella I'd probably Winkostella just about everything on the page but I don't have my Winkostella sad times guys I know you agree don't you oh look there's berries everywhere here anyway so I thought maybe these would look quite cute on the big stars just to give them a little oh where did that go did I not even pick it up <laughs> so we're just going to pop some of these and actually I might pop two like that that fills that because I was a bit always a bit funny about big gaps Oh, I'm going to have to get me some more of these. I can't help myself. I've got to put them on every star. Nope, I missed it again. There's one there. And then... Nope. Oh, it's on my finger. It's all right, guys. I got it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I've missed a star. Hang on. Down here. So you can still see it's a star, but they give him a bit of a twinkle. But like I said, if I had Winkostella, that is what I would use. So then we are going to put that on there. Oh, do you know, I'm really happy with this card. I've never made a Halloween card before. But if you've got the stuff, um, because I originally bought it because I love wreaths. So, and it's got um, an autumn and a winter Christmassy um, wreath in it. And also the stamps, I adore these and this. So, yeah, so that was great fun. There we go. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Right. I don't actually know where I've put my bone folder so that I can get it to sit flat. I'm just going to do that. If you don't have a bone folder, but you have a clean block, because mine aren't always clean, you can just run your block down the side for now. There we go. Works, um, works as a replacement until I actually find my bone folder. That would be great. There we go. But this has got so many different dies in it. Um, and it also it also cuts out these so yeah pretty awesome although I could have stamped that underneath and then put the stars on top but you know that's for another day so there we go right two completely different cards where have I put the other one there he is but using the sparkle of the season let's tidy up tidy time okay oh I've just had a message that Aaliyah is already asleep so when I finish guys I can go and have a soak in the bath <laughs> it's the little things guys it's the little things oh so excited now right there we go um okay right thank you peg oh thank you janice thank you cindy right okay so which is your favorite now i mean christmas is my favorite but this is really cute oh and i didn't even plan it and look at that, because stamping up make their stamp sets so good because you've got all the elements you need and then you can just mix, like this one, I've mixed two different sets together. It's just awesome. And um, I can sometimes get quite overwhelmed by stamp sets um, 
if you buy them from just random, you end up with a lot of just higgledy piggledy stamps. But oh, these are gorgeous. It's just missing Wink Costello. I really need to find it. So there we go. Hi, Raylene. Okay, so if you don't have a demonstrator, I can be a demonstrator if you live in the UK. And then I still haven't written my list of where else is included. It's within Europe anyway. Um, we have a new mini catalogue and a celebration. And I can show you... These are from Celebration. I will have to do another video on these. Um, I made a card um, and actually it went to a teacher who's a farmer's wife. So that didn't stay in the house very long. And we've also got Classic Cloche. And I've just ordered Sweets and Treats, which also um, goes with these dies. So I'm excited for that as well. Yeah, so I'm away next week. So next Saturday will be um, a video that I'm going to upload. Hopefully I'll get it uploaded and ready to go tomorrow to go live at half eight tomorrow uh, on Saturday next week. I will tr I'm will. i going to premiere it and I will try and be on. But it depends what the Internet is like while we're while we're in the caravan, because I don't know because we've not been there before and it's right by the beach. I did have good reception when we were there a couple of weeks ago for the day. So <gasps> fingers crossed it will be fine. But there we go. I have a couple of videos. I've uploaded one. I need to upload the other, which are two different ones. So I'll schedule them for this week as well. So there we go. If you'd like to follow me on YouTube, it's Woo's Creations. Uh, if you want to contact me, it's Woo's Creations at no, it's Woo's Creations twenty twenty at gmail dot com. Let me just put that in. If I actually write it in the right place, and spell it right. <laughs> there we go. Woo's Creations twenty twenty at gmail.com um, and then I've also got Woo's Creators Corner so if you fancy making a card like these you're more than welcome to pop over and um, add a picture of your card or whatever you're making I don't mind what it is I'm just wondering because I haven't put an, an innard an innard let's just do that quick shall we I know, I'm keeping you now. <laughs> Class is dismissed unless you want to see me just quickly do the inside. Right, so that's already 10 anyway. So we're going to get our little bats again. Is that the bats? Yeah, bats and stars. So... I don't really want to put Happy Halloween again on the inside. What else do you say? Have a spooky time, probably, but I don't have anything that says that. <laughs> so we're just going to put... Hang on a minute. Let me see. Mm. I actually don't know because I don't have any other stamp sets that are Halloween or well there we go <laughs> I honestly have no idea because everything else is um Oh, here we go. Look, we'll just put from all of us. From uh, from the deers. Oh, got to use this again. I loved it. The deers are pretty cool. 
So we're going to put in Knight of Navy because, you know, going with the dark theme. But I don't really want to use black again. Turn it over because there's a smudge on that side from all of us and then you can write your to and you're from and whatever or from all of us and then just put your names you don't have to even fill that in so um i did that because i did it in navy because my bats are going to be black so you know so i'm just going to put some bats up there and some bats down here and then i'm going to get my so saffron And I'm going to do some stars. Around my little words. Like that. Just clean them up. Ready to put away. And I mean you could, you could decorate it more than that. But you need to leave room for someone to write in it. Don't you? Um, and you could use like a pale yellow card inside. You don't have to wear you wear. Don't have to use white. Okay. If anybody has any requests, please just say if you have. If you want to challenge me to a fancy fold that you've seen that you're too, you know, you want someone else to do it first. <laughs> Let me know at least a couple of days ahead of my video and I can do it on my on my live when I come back off holiday. Happy to do that. There we go, guys. So there's the inside of that one and the inside of that one. Oh, I love them every time I make a card now I just love it okay thank you so much for watching I'm blabbering now I'm sorry and I will see you all very soon goodbye